from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Platinum Group Metals miner Northam is expanding its ore handling systems to cater for increased volumes coming from its north, central and currently under construction south mines at its Boysendal complex. To ensure it can efficiently handle any further increases in mining output, the Boysendal mine is progressing with expanding its aerial conveyor system, the Ropecon, to transfer ore between its various mine shafts and its two concentrator plants. Boysendal engineering manager Zachariah Tsutsetsi tells Creamer Media contributing editor Donna Slater about why the Boysendal complex requires a north and south rope con system. I'm Zachariah Tsutsetsi. The title, I'm engineering manager for Boysendal Platinum Mine. I've been here for almost eight years now. First and foremost, that uh, Boysendal acquire um, Aquarius Mine. Um, when they acquire Aquarius Mine, and then we had a concentrator that is the take the output of about 300,000 tons output per month. Now with that, we then also had uh, a concentrator at north that was at full capacity. Now the question was how can we fill up the south concentrator in terms of tonnage? But at the same time, we then had the central shaft that needed to start. But the central shaft, it did not have the ore where we, it did not have the concentrator plant where we can process ore. So with that, then we have to come with a strategy. If we establish the central shaft, where are we, how are we going to take ore to the south concentrator? Firstly, we had the scenarios that we ran. The first scenario, we look at the tracking processes, but obviously in terms of the accidents on the roads, and obviously the efficiency and the cost, that did not, was not viable. We then look in South Africa, um, there are some aerial uh, ore transportation system at Babaton, but also in terms of volume, we found that was not feasible. We then eventually had to go to Austria and see this technology in Austria. Then we realized in terms of volume, the, uh, these systems can fit very well. <clears throat> the system can deliver and the tonnage output of about 1,200 tons per hour which will fit in the profile of the central shaft. The central shaft is designed to deliver about 220 tons per month. With that system, it will definitely fit. But not only that, you will also realize that Boisendal is a mine. It's sited at a very environmental sensitive area. So you can't disturb the bigger area. You can only disturb small areas. So the rope cone the manner in which it's installed, the towers are positioned at the strategic position. You only disturb those areas where the towers are. So that also fitted in the strategy that we are looking at from in terms of environmental point of view. The other issue was the maintenance cost. If you look at the current the rope cone, it's only been operated by two people. If I have to go, uh, if we will have gone to South African conventional conveyor belt, you will need a maximum of about 16 people per shift to run that. So operational cost was also one of the important factors that we considered. Those were the factors that we considered to make a decision that we go the road conway. In terms of ramping up, obviously it's more dependent on the tonnages coming up, uh, from underground. Currently, uh, the ore that is, we are getting from uh, underground is currently from the central shaft, which is still at about, give or take, 70% buildup. Uh, in terms of ramp up, the rope cone also will depend on it from the North Marensky site, which uh, later my colleagues, the GM, will talk about. The ramp up will be at a steady state. Rope, the rope cone is, will be planned to run three shifts. Currently, we are running it two shift because we are still at the build up stage. And at that time, we will be talking a production of close to 300 to 300,050 tons a month. My name is Mosala Litebele. I'm the general manager for North Mine. North Mine is an operation which is having the South operation and the North operation. I'm currently at the North operation. I joined Boysendal in 2019, about two years ago. Uh, before that, I was at Samanko, I was at Two Rivers Platinum, and another 18 years I was at uh, Amanda Belt area around the Anglo Platinum. The Rukko North comes, um, it's, it's, if you look at the Boysendal, you are having the south plant and you're having the north plant. The south plant is currently bigger than what the central mine, talking about the Boisendal South 1 and South 2, 
that uh, our previous speaker was talking about 220,000 tons that will be delivered to the south plant. So this south plant can do in excess of 300,000 tons. And with the 220,000 tons coming from the central mine, you still have the capacity at the south plant. And when we looked at that, and you look at the north, that north plant has already uh, reached its own capacity. At the north mine, you are having the north UG2, which is currently producing above 200,000 tons. Uh, we spoke about 205,000 tons, which was the target. And you have now the Merensky, Boisendal North Merensky, where we are producing 35,000 tons and we are ramping up also to 50,000 tons at a steady state. So when you look at the combination between the North Merensky and the North UG2, we will be producing more than what the plant of the North can treat. That's why the North uh, rope corn comes in. So with the North rope corn, we have uh, linked it together with the North Merensky. So we will be taking some of the tons at the early stages, we'll be taking 30,000 tons that will be going all the way to the South plant and that will relieve uh, the North mine from having more stockpile, but in actual fact, making sure that the tons that are mined are being delivered to South plants so that they can be treated. So that's how the North uh, uh, rope corn fits into the picture. I have to say that uh, the construction of the uh, North rope corn is going way ahead. Uh, the plan is currently that by December, we should be commissioning and we are looking at uh, currently all the towers are in place. We have seen on the video today that uh, the rope was also installed and uh, we are looking at uh, that process going that by December that we should be in, in uh, readily available to, to, to start commissioning that operation so that by January we'll be taking the tons from the north will be delivering. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.